Greetings and welcome back to the channel. Today's update in SNAP and food stamp news, we're going to be talking about a significant development in the world of SNAP, a new bill that's in Congress called the Op for Health with SNAP Act of 2023. So I got this story from Yahoo and I'm going to leave a link below. The proposed legislation aims to fortify SNAP benefits by increasing federal funding and making healthier food more accessible for SNAP beneficiaries. Guys, as I did a video a couple weeks ago about how they want people to stop buying junk food with their SNAP benefits and they want you to start buying more healthy food. So in recent news, a renowned consumer protection group called the Center for Science in the Public Interest or CSPI has openly endorsed the SNAP bill. According to them, this bill can dramatically strengthen the Gus Shoemaker Nutrition Incentive Program, Gus Nip for short, by not only increasing its funding to a whooping $3.5 billion over the next few years, but also eliminating the current state matching requirement. The CSPI president, Dr. Peter G. Lurie, emphasizes that the high cost of fruits and vegetables can be a substantial barrier for many SNAP recipients. So, in my opinion, he thinks that um, healthy food costs more than junk food. So, the GUSNIP is designed to overcome this by providing financial incentives that encourage healthier shopping habits. For those unfamiliar with SNAP, once known as food stamps, is a federally funded state administered program that helps low income households purchase food. GUSNIP, on the other hand, was first sanctioned in 2018, and its primary objective is to incentivize low income consumers to purchase more fruits and vegetables. But as Dr. Lurie points out, the benefits of GUSNIP are not being uniformly distributed among SNAP participants. He argues that if SNAP households were to receive produce incentives, GUSNIP funding would need to be around $5.3 billion per year, which is a far cry from the current allocation of $21 million. The old SNAP bill has some influential supporters, including... Senator Cory Booker and Representative Lisa Blunt of Rochester. It's also worth mentioning that it has received endorsement from 49 organizations like the Heart, the American Heart Association and the National Grocery Association, to name a few. Support for this bill comes at a critical time as SNAP beneficiaries face the end of the emergency allotment benefits and stricter work requirements under a recent debt ceiling bill. Advocates fear that these changes could potentially leave up to 750,000 adults aged 50 to 54 at risk of losing their food stamps. This bill has the potential to create a significant impact on many Americans' lives. So we'll keep a close eye on the bill. Okay, guys, that's it for this quick video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think if they gave you more money, would, would that be an incentive for you to buy more fruits and vegetables? Or if they blocked buying junk food, would that upset you? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you for watching this video.